homework six, question one. So the first question is asking x and y have a joint density function of x fx at y equal to one plus x times y over a. And um, the first question is that find a so that the above is a valid joint density function. So we know the range from for x is uh, from negative one to one. Uh, for y is negative one from one. So the equation become integral from negative one to one integral from negative one to one f x y x y dx dy and then we do the integral of the uh, dx first so we get um uh, so we get negative uh, from integral from negative one to negative one uh, to one um one plus x y over a dx dy and then equal to um Integral from negative one to one, one over a, um, times integral from negative one to one, um, one plus x y, dx dy, and we know this is equal to one. So four over a is equal to one. Now we know that uh, a is equal to four. Second question is uh asking are x and y aren't correlated are they in, uh, and third question is asking are they are uh, independent so um uh, the cor uh, correlation is equal to e of x y minus e of x times e of y so e of x y is going to equal to integral from negative one to one integral from negative one to one x times y um times uh one plus x y over four uh, dx dy so um, we can do the calculation that um, it's going to be equal to 1 over 4 times uh, x, y, dx, dy plus uh, integral of that x square, y square, dx, dy, which give us 1 over 9. So for uh, e of x, it's going to be equal to integral um, uh, from negative 1 to 1, integral from negative 1 to 1, x times 1 plus x, y, over 4 dx dy uh, is going to be equal to 1 over 4 um, x dx dy plus that the integral of x square y dx dy and which is equal to 0. e of y is going to equal to um, integral from negative 1 to 1 integral from negative 1 to 1 y times 1 plus x y over 4 dx dy so it's going to be equal to 0. So because e of x is equal to 0 and then um, e of x, y, x to 0, the c uh, is going to equal to 0. So they are un un uncorrelated. Because they are uncorrelated, and also they are uh, independent. So number 4, find the joint density function of x squared and the y squared. So we know z is equal to ax plus by, w is equal to cx plus dy. And then now we know the z is equal to x squared, uh, w is equal to y squared. So the J of X, Y is equal to the matrix of A, B, C, D, and it's equal to, and be equal to A, D minus B, C, which is give us uh, 4 X, Y. And then um, we know they have four roots. So um, the F, Z, W is going to be equal to um, F, X, Y of a square root of two, a Z, um, square root of W over J1, plus um, F, X of the uh, negative square root of uh, Z, uh, square root of w over j2 plus j3 and j4 um, because we know uh, j of y is equal to 4 times um, x times y which is just a square root of z and a square root of w so um, we plug it back in there and then we get the answer will be 1 over 2 times z uh, the square root of z times 1 over 2 times uh, square root of w so the f uh, z W, ZW is going to be equal to 1 over 2 um, square root of Z times 1 over 2 square root of W. And for um, FZ of Z is going to be equal to 1 over 2 uh, square root of Z. And then for FW and W is going to be equal to 1 over 2 times square root of W. So number 5, prove or disapprove that X square Y square are independent. Um, because we know they are jointly normal, and uh, they are uncorrelated, and we know that um, we know that um, um, x squared, y squared are independent.